Testing, testing, mic one, two, three. We testing the mic, testing the mic, testing the mic. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Guess what we're drinking today? But wait, if it's your first time to sipping tea with Eve, welcome. I'm Eve. Sipping tea with Eve is a relaxed space for us to take care of ourselves, reflect on lessons, happy dance on blessings when it comes to how we show up as leaders. Let's get this tea brewing. You already know we're going to start off with our tea of the day and then head over to our tip. I hope you're drinking some amazing tea. I'm having a good time sipping on my tea. My mood, like my body feels so good. I love drinking tea. Feel free to, feel free to even share with me some favorite teas that you guys have in the description so I can go ahead and get some and taste it and, and try it out and then of course feature it on, on the podcast. But yes, I'm having a good time. Yes. So the next herb or root that we have in my memory tea blend that I'm going through in this series is Gotu Kola. It is also known as the Indian Pennyworth. It is also known as Koda Van. Koda Van <laughs> is how I would pronounce it. And it is native to tropical regions of Africa, Asia, Australia, and islands in the Western Pacific Ocean. So it, yes, it's in my memory tea because it helps with memory fatigue. But I'm noticing that as of today, people really use it to treat varicose veins, which is a condition where you have where blood pools in your leg. So I thought that was like pretty interesting. And the plant itself, it's very round. I don't know why I keep thinking of like the French folks with their berets, like the hats. <laughs> but it's like very, very round with and has like a long, long stem. Um, and of course, just like very like dark green in color. So if you haven't had gotu kola, Go get some, treat that mental fatigue, keep the brain right. Now let's pivot over into the tip of the day. So one thing I've been thinking about, like, you know, I'm I'm by trade a medical anthropologist, you know, researcher at heart. And, and of course, you know, an agile strategist, basically meaning like, I, you know, I support people in figuring out what are like the integrated set of choices that they need to make in a way that is iterative and incremental for them to get work done to like get into action which basically can mean like product project management people just bring me in to execute and then you know i'm also a researcher and a joy cultivator so i think for me i love the field that i'm in because it allows me to be the multifaceted human being that i am specifically in research because in research you have to evoke many different hats And that is very true for many different professions, but sometimes I'm noticing that people get really stuck in trying to figure out like, what is like the way that I need to think in order to be really good in my role. And I almost want to like relieve you of that pressure when it comes to the things that you, like the work that you do. Allow yourself to be multifaceted in how you go about your continuous learning. One thing that I noticed with being a researcher is that I have to be an explorer. Like I have to be, I have to be able to go into different contexts and be able to understand and uh, communicate in different people's contexts. I'm talking to many different stakeholders and people all throughout, you know, the day. And I love that because I'm just very curious in nature myself. Uh, I have to almost be a doctor. I have to be ready to diagnose a problem. People sometimes come to me like, hey, this is, you know, the the problem that I want to solve. Can you solve it? But then many times I'm like, in order for me to diagnose that, I, like, I need to be able to understand like the previous one, the context of which, where this is coming from. I also have to be an actor. Think of like method acting, you know, where actors basically emphasize to like really understand what the character is going through and try to practice being the character in their like daily lives. You know, I go through that all the time when I'm speaking to like users or constituents or the people that I'm observing or participants. Uh, I have to really like empathize with their situation and fully immerse myself in it. I have to be a teacher. You don't have to like teach what exactly is research, like and what is the importance of it and how it supports, you know, business outcomes. And if we focus on the users and focus on the business outcomes, the company will still be able to like do what they need to do to grow. Also a moral philosopher, you know, I'm dealing with people like a lot. And at the end of the day, business is about people. I always say that your person is your business, like your person, like who you are and how you show up and the people around you, like it should be your business, even though many times people try to fight as if it isn't. (laughs) So when I say that, like, those are all the different ways that I have to think, you know, I have all those different characters in my tool belt so that when I'm in a situation, I'm able to like navigate accordingly. 
but I have to like give myself the space outside of work to do that. That's why I travel a lot. That's why, you know, again, I'm a medical anthropologist by trade. You know, I love acting. I, I've taught before of many different ages, like from children to, you know, adults. And yeah, I love talking about philosophy. Even right now, in regards to being a strategist, I'm actually studying poker right now because there's so much strategy in poker. Like you have to really be able to understand what's happening on the table and be able to deduce a set of choices that will support you when the when the next card comes out you know how you're going to act towards it depending on the situation like i love it it's so good so i would say you know in regards to your role and what you're responsible for if you sit down and like look like just observe you would actually see like you wear multiple hats and then give yourself the the space to engage in it some more like deepen your knowledge and I gave my example with me being a researcher and then, of course, me being a strategist and, like, how am I engaging in different things to be able to practice my skills and my critical thinking. But I would encourage you to do the same. So, yeah, audit, like, what you do and see if you can see where, you know, where other careers and, and other life paths that you can, like, step into more to help inform the work that you do and make it more fulfilling and more fun because, you know, why not? So that was... The strategy, the motivation, the leadership message of today. But of course, as always, I want you to cultivate your joy and remember, stay simple. See you next time.